everybody. Talking about interpreting Beethoven comes with a big responsibility, much like talking about interpreting Bach. Um, I decided to give it a try today, and what better place to start than with the third uh, cello sonata, uh, Opus 69. So let's look at the opening phrase. Um, here we have a statement that can be divided into three parts. We have the opening. <laughs> those three parts it might help you uh, shape it and give uh, different colors be sure you are aware of the especially of the different color for the third part of this statement um, here <laughs> vibrato should be uh, fairly quick and narrow, uh, not too sluggish, also continual, so no stops in the vibrato. <laughs> As you see, my hand c continuously moves. Um, uh, the, uh, at the end of the long E uh, in bar 11, <laughs> are coming together with the piano and uh, you should emphasize those um, E's uh, and take some time to <laughs> the run in bar 24 uh, don't stop on the high B uh, and also let's uh, spread the triplet so um, let's see. <laughs> I don't take really time on that high B. But I do take time on the last uh, three notes before the F sharp. Well. Uh, the next bar we have a low A and that should be uh, a surprise, a shock. Don't really prepare before you really finish that fermata. Um, grace notes in uh, bar 27 um, and on. Uh, the grace notes should be clear, and um, for that I almost accent them. Uh, although, of course, the accent does not fall on them, but rather on the following note, the F in bar 27, so... Um, <laughs> there is a danger of losing those uh, small notes, especially in a big hall. Uh, that's why I, I actually really give them uh, a little bit more emphasis than um, it looks on the page. <laughs> because they might get lost. On the long B in bar 29, start non-vib, uh, or very, very little vibrato, and uh, add vibrato as we um, get closer to the, uh, to the forte in bar 29. Uh, it is a subito forte, but nevertheless, this is a long note and you want to um, create interest, so. Bar 35, listen to your pianist. You should take the triplets from him or her. Um, so um, I like also uh, sitting a little bit on that first C sharp. So a great way to be sure uh, our left hand is relaxed, loose, and not tense is to vibrate on each note. Um, by vibrate, I don't mean a wide vibrato, but just a little wiggle um, to liven the sound. So, so. Uh, as you can see, I, I vibrate really on each and 
and everybody knows. In bar 50, I like taking a little time and playing off the string those two last two Bs uh, of the bar. So. I also like changing um, string there. My old teacher, Bernard Greenhouse, used to speak about enunciating notes. And uh, in bar 55, we have an example of that technique, which is not used much today by um, young cellists. It, it makes the notes speak better, especially important in big halls. Um, uh, enunciating with a bow is also important, of course. Uh, but let's see uh, bar 55. So I um, how should I say this? I am. Um, I almost hit the fingerboard with my fingers um, when I play those notes. And not to say uh, you should accent those notes with a bow, but. And when I um, go to the F sharp on my first finger, I slightly pluck the string. Uh, all these are, um, creates clarity, really. Um, in bars 83 and 87, we have an opportunity to let the cello ring naturally by lifting the bow between the long notes. So you really have to hit the string uh, on the up bow. Uh, not so easy obviously to play uh, forte at the tip um, and here again so just be sure you're not choking your sound I think this is better slight lifting of the bow but definitely lift the bow between the high C sharp the low uh, A sharp. Bars 89, 90 and 91, 92 should be different. Don't just repeat them exactly the same. Uh, I actually use different fingerings. So um, yeah, so first crossing the string and then sliding on the D. These slides should be very uh, subtle. Um, I use a guiding finger. So in slow motion, it will be the D sharp going on the first finger, slide on the first finger to the A sharp. So, um, okay. Bar 104 uh, is a cry. Use a lot of bow. Um, so here and also, uh, I would encourage you to use um, more bow rather than less. It just needs air there, I think. Uh, starting bar 140. The 16th note um, passage here. Just very loud and um, I uh, play those three uh, notes per bow and then separate them. starting bar 140 so there 
is a difference between those two phrases, and the second one is less, although they're both pianissimo. Um, just the register drops, and I think we should show it with a color. Um, as you can see, I add a little bit of vibrato just to make this sound alive. Um, but you can choose to do it non-vib. <laughs> I also use very little vibrato in bars 148, 49, 50, and finally bar 151. Um, there the vibrato should uh, crescendo with the bow for a stronger gesture. So I'm going to start in uh, 148. <laughs> recap and um, for today and hopefully I give you some ideas for working on this great sonata. Thank you for watching and happy practicing! <laughs>